Hello there, my YouTube family and friends. This is your girl, Jackie, from Jackie's Faith Journey. Just touching base with you on this hour to just say that I'm still here and still hanging in there and still stretching, reaching, and progressing in every way that I possibly can by the grace of God. Here we go, as I tell you, of my little day uh, going on for this weekend. So as you can see that your girl is comfortably laying down in her bed. I take it wherever I feel comfortable. And at this precious moment that I've been given by God's grace, I am enjoying myself just relaxing. Yes. It, it's been an awesome day, a uh, very kind of, uh, you know, everything kind of day. I'm so, I'm just not big on doing, overdoing things right now. And uh, my hair is growing in. But yeah, I didn't want it to be off, on and off, off. <laughs> I'm making fun of my own self. Isn't that funny? Your girl is stretching to the max. Yes, I've been going through so much foot, foot pain. Foot pain. The most of my situation is my feet, my hands. And every now and again, my back would go out. I have some very terrible back aches. I have to be putting on now um pain patches on my back wherever it hurts because sometimes i'm like so afraid of the sprays because it's extremely freezing and i jump so the rubs i feel better with the rubs and i do use the pain patches and i get some relief from it I have, however, been going through using the rubbing alcohol to just hold it over my two feet and then I just wet them. I wet them up and down my toes to put bottom, you know, um, the top of my foot coming up to my calf or my foot and I would just soak them out. And then I just leave them there because they also burn. You have this very bad burning. Like it's on fire. That's why I use the alcohol to out it before it start blazing. <laughs> oh Lord. It's better that we joke around. Then I'll be ear moping and groping and crying and stuff like that. I um not telling you that is the best feeling it's the worst i get the needles in them i get jobs that make me even jump at the feeling that it's sending off all the sensation that it sends off on me you know and uh, i still keep taking my meds yes i still um keep up with my medication which is gabapentin you know, I store them right next to me on my nightstand. Yes, uh, you know, I, I, I store them right next to me right there. Top of my Bible right there. I store them on my nightstand and I will make sure that I take them before I go off to sleep. And one um, blood thin at night as well. I've been on coconut water of late. Yes, and then I had a touch of the flu, which I need to get out of my system fast. Yes, I don't need to have that around me, um, you know, lingering or anything like that because I don't need to get sick. 
not with what's going on already and i you hear me i sound very good and i'm doing pretty good i've been taking um um what they call it sit stress drops uh vitamin c drops and um a few eucalyptus um cough drops and my cough has subsided thank you jesus and i'm able to communicate with you my wonderful friends that always seek to find out how i'm doing I might not be on the camera very regular, but I'm not going to come on and fake it. And I'm not going to come on and lie about anything. So when I have something to share and just to keep up my appearances on camera for you guys to see that the good Lord is working on me, I will come on. And when there is something to tell you, I sure will appear. I am taking the best care I know out of myself. Yes. I was just running through my room and I heard Cece singing her song that I love so much. And we believe for it. Shake the impossible. Praise the name of Jesus. I just know that God is in control and that He's taking care. Of me no matter how I feel. I am doing so well. I got a nice wonderful phone call from my former pastor in, from New York. And in the same breath, my colleague and friend from my same church family. And she's now a pastor as well. I got so much encouragement on today. I am telling you the good Lord is sending me blessings after blessings. And it keeps on following me. I also had um, the privilege of being encouraged. So much by these people the prayers that they sent up on my behalf the encouragement I got from the Word of God praise the Lord I can tell you that no money can't buy those kind of encouragement no money can't add anything to your statue one cubic it say it can't add nothing to you but when the peace of God is on you, around you, and it's, sh it's sown into your life, there is nothing that the devil can do. He has no control. I have good wording from the people of God. And looking forward to go sit under the umbrella of a wonderful Sunday service on tomorrow. I'm telling you, only His love alone can really bring you to the place where you can find the sweet rest, the tranquility of your house and your family members around you. The people that show you so much love. My daughter might not live in the house with me. But so much love is shown to me. 
and there is my other daughter that's in New York and they are also celebrating my mother-in-law's 99th birthday. Can you believe that? My husband's mom turned 99 years old on today. And she makes sure to make them FaceTime us. To show us and just to want to just see us talking back at her. She's encouraging me. Now look, I wonder which one of us needs encouragement. But she is so full of the anointing. She can't even keep it to herself. It was such a pleasure this evening to come on camera. Just to share a little piece of what my life is like and what's going on. And as always, I love you all. Please continue to keep me in your prayers. And I pray that whatever I share on today, it might not be for you or for you, but it might help someone to feel encouraged and uplifted. If it's even one soul at a time, I don't mind lifting somebody up. And just remember to love, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I would say, only what we do for Christ will last. See you next time. Bye-bye.